We can now pass to the second item of the presentation. Usually, the most frightening step is how to find the right and trustworthy contractor that will do a precise job. My first advice is to ask your architect for help and advice. Each architect has usually his trusted builders and contractors. The benefit of working with them is high quality, easy communication with the architect, so that there will be less waste of time and fast results. Your architect should guarantee for the builder professionalism. And the contractors are interested in working well when they, when they receive the job from the architect. This way they will receive more jobs from her in the future. In case you want to check contractors not related with your architect, here there are some tips to follow to overstep some risks. First, go personally and check previous jobs done from the builder. Do not trust the pictures on websites. Check the details and exterior finishing. There are lots of builders and contractors that do badly done jobs and not that much precise. Check on recent jobs. From my experience, I can tell you that when contractors start to receive a load of new jobs requests, at times the quality of the job they do turn clearly poor. Especially if the contractor gets more jobs to work on at the same time, he can't personally follow the works and he hires fewer qualifi qualified people to complete the work for him. Sign a contract with well-defined terms and conditions and times. This can guarantee a deadline to work with and no time waste along the process. Divide the payment following the developing work steps. Never, but never, pay the full amount of money from the beginning. Ask your architect for his support or her support in divide the payment and check that each work is complete before paying and move on to the next step and leave the last payment for the end. Otherwise, you risk that little finishing is left incomplete. And ask for recommendations from people he has recently worked with. Mind the builders that are too cheap. Usually, when the prices are too low, there is always something hidden. In a certain case, the damage can be a minor thing, like exterior finishing can be imprecise and not pleasant. The pictures below have been snapped by a colleague of mine in a new flat just right after the renovation works. Take a look at the mess they did. We could even have something worse than aesthetic issues. One of my clients decided to go for a cheap contractor and he found out to have plumbing damages in the toilet. He was forced to call and pay for a new plumber, and he wasted a lot of money and time. Of course, all this could have been avoided. Another story is about a guy I know who rainproofed the roof of his house with non-specialized workers for that job. He spent a lot, although not enough, and during the rainy days he found himself placing buckets around the house to collect water coming on the roof. In Hebrew, there is an expression that says Lazol yesh mechir. It means that everything cheap has his real price. I think that this is particularly true in the construction and renovation fields. Cheap work has its price at end can end up being more and more expensive. Now you are more than welcome to contact me for any further question or to schedule an appointment. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.